Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to update these apps in the App Store that are not updating with the new MacBook Air. So they've been having this problem. So as you can see, I was able to update two already and I didn't do all five of them. I left three in order to show you guys how to do it. So here's the thing. So when you click this update, I have been doing this um, since yesterday. It wouldn't go through. So it says that to update this app, you need to accept it on the account page in the app store. Okay, so I've been doing that and you can see that there's no more update. Uh, I, there's no more accept button thing. But that's because I have been doing the accept. And then when I update, you can't update. You can't update these apps. So what we're going to do is to go to the finder, like right here at the bottom left corner. Okay, so after the finder, you're going to click the application on the left hand side corner. And then you look for that app that is not updating. So for example, this one. The iMovie is not updating. So what you do is you right click and then you move it to trash. And then it says use password. So the password would be your password when you log into your computer. And then I click enter and now I deleted the app. Now, because I deleted the app, let's go here. the search and let's search iMovie now here's the iMovie we're gonna download the iMovie we're gonna reinstall it so we're gonna wait until it finishes installing I tend to experience this kind of problem with the new MacBook Air so we're gonna finish up and then that's all you need to do I've done it with the two apps already which is the pages and the keynote i'm just going to show you until it finishes to download it's taking a little bit longer but just be patient and there you go the iMovie is actually installed so now there's two more that is not um updating and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna click the finder and then we're gonna go to the application and then we'll go to GarageBand and then we'll delete it, we'll move it to trash and then go back and then search GarageBand and then click download Okay, so GarageBand is done. Now we're gonna update one more, which is the numbers. So we're gonna go to the finder again. So let's go to numbers and then we'll right click, we'll move it to trash. That's done. So no more updates here, but then our numbers are not installed. And we're gonna reinstall it or re-download it. And there you go. It's all done. So that's it. No more updates. We were able to install everything and um, we fixed the problem. So if you guys ever encountered that kind of problem again, that's how you do it. So that's it for today, guys. See you next time. Bye.